Healthy Minds Fairfax was created by the Board of Supervisors to help families access mental health and substance use services for their children and to improve the quality of those services. The County Health and Human Services System and the Community Services Board are partnering with Fairfax County Public Schools, providers, and family organizations to improve behavioral health services for children, youth, and families in our community. The initiative began in 2015, and in 2016, we issued the Children's Behavioral Health Blueprint, our plan for improving services throughout the county. Our first program, Short-Term Behavioral Health Services, began in 2016, and since then, we've launched several other projects. Through Healthy Minds Fairfax, the county has contracted with private therapists to provide outpatient mental health treatment for teens who are struggling with issues like anxiety and depression and can't access treatment. Services start within three to five days and include six to eight therapy sessions. Referrals are from school social workers and psychologists and the Community Services Board. More than 90% of participating youth report improved mental health as a result of treatment. STBH is the short-term behavioral health program through Healthy Minds via Fairfax County. They provide short-term counseling, eight to 10 sessions for students in Fairfax County who are don't have insurance or are unable to pay for therapy. And I'm a private practitioner and I contract with Short-Term Behavioral Health and they send me wonderful clients. I am here to help them make positive changes. I am here to be a place where it's really safe when when someone tells me they're struggling, I can just be there. Sometimes I just get to listen, and that's all you need. Sometimes you just need someone to listen. And I can just be there and say to somebody, it's normal. It's normal to feel this way, and you're not the only one, and you matter. About one in five children in our community have a mental health or substance use issue, or will have one by the time they turn 18. Less than half of them get treatment. Families face many obstacles to getting treatment, including not having insurance, having inadequate insurance, lack of providers, and the stigma still associated with mental health issues. So NAMI Northern Virginia is the local affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Illness, which is a national organization. And we reach about 9,000 people a year through our 16 programs and services. Um, our programs are all delivered by people with experience, um, whether it be living with a mental health condition themselves or um, having a family member who lives with a mental health condition. And we deliver hope and promote peer support, which is so powerful. So we really partner with local agencies and providers to provide um, an opportunity for people to come out of isolation and find other people who share similar experiences. The Parent Support Partner Services are delivered in partnership with Fairfax County thanks to a grant through the Virginia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Services and SAMHSA. Parent Support Partners are people who really have navigated the system with their own child because they're able to bring those skills and the resiliency that they've developed to share that with other families and help those new families walk along their journey, not alone, and to really know that somebody else gets what they're feeling, gets how hard it is, and is going to stick by them to help make sure that they uh, you know, also find their strengths, build their resiliency, and are able to help their child and their family move into a successful future. Being a parent support Thank partner you. is very important to me because that's someone I wish I would have had in my life when I was going through things with my daughter who's now 20. As a parent support partner, what I'm able to do is I'm able to help the parents navigate the resources that are in the community for them and let them know that they're not alone. Sometimes I can be there for them to, a shoulder to cry on. Someone just to go out to eat lunch with and say, look, this is what's going on in my household. Am I doing this right? Am I doing it? What, what are some other recommendations? Just basically okay. being so there for them yeah. when they need that support because sometimes people don't have that natural support. Even when families can access treatment, they often can't find a counselor with the training and expertise to meet their child's needs. As a result, many children and youth don't succeed in school and struggle to function productively in the community. We're going to cover specialty skills, yeah. exposures, and then suicide risk assessment. Okay. 
There are a number of reasons we decided to develop the Fairfax Consortium for Evidence-Based Practice. Adolescent suicide is the second leading cause of death among adolescents nationwide. Unfortunately, Fairfax County is not immune, and in 2014, there was an increase in the number of adolescent deaths by suicide. And when I say evidence-based treatment, what I mean is the use of treatments that have been tested in research studies and shown to work best for teenagers and their families. There are a number of unique aspects. First, it represents an academic, public, and private partnership between George Mason University Psychology Department, Healthy Minds Fairfax, and Inova Keller Center. In this training consortium, what we're going to be doing is providing the training, but also following that up with intense supervision and consultation over the course of a year to make sure that the skills that were taught in the training program are practiced and used as intended over the course of time. For the core competency trainings, we're inviting parents, teenagers, as well as mental health clinicians from the community to review the training materials and give us feedback so that we can tailor the training program to the unique needs of families and clinicians in Fairfax County. The Fairfax Training Consortium fits really well with Mason's overall mission. Mason's a public research university and public research universities have a duty not just to conduct cutting-edge research that generates new knowledge, but new knowledge that benefits the public. The ultimate promise of a project like this in my mind is quite simply to improve and save lives.